Aloha my friends, um, today we're going to be doing just a very quick yin yoga for our hips. So it's just about a 10 minute class so that way you can get yourself more open for your day. So we're going to take the right leg and just bring it left and right and then circling it around. Just opening up here and taking the next one. This is just some little mobility moves so that way we can prevent overstraining or just feeling uncomfortable when we're in these longer poses. So to start off, we're going to bring our right leg forward and then bring the opposite back. And instead of coming downward, we're only going to stay up here. If you would like to, you can bring the opposite leg back and just hold on to it here as you're looking forward. So this will go a little bit deeper into that hip flexor. And finding your balance, you can also take your, your right hand and bring it forward. If you're more of a beginner, just bring that leg back. You can curl your toes forward and then find your hips to come square to the front. If you need to, you can also put some pillows underneath you. So say you're maybe more up here, you can place some pillows so that way you can help alleviate the stress that you may be creating. But wherever you are with your hips, know that they are perfect just as they are and there's no need to think about the future of why you're not in this exact pose as I'm in. So yoga is all about acceptance and just honoring where your body is and how it feels. And it's not a matter of attaining full flexibility because I've been doing yoga for almost 10 years and I can't do the splits or touch my toes completely and that's not the point of yoga. Yoga is really just finding, finding your rhythm within your body, creating space with your breath, just tuning into the elements around. So something like hearing the wind or the wind chimes, just taking a moment outside of your thoughts and to just be. So breathing now, relaxing the shoulders. Good. And we're just gonna hold for a little bit longer, for about 10 more counts. Bringing your, bringing your nose a little bit more up and your chin up, relaxing those shoulders. Good. And then bring the left leg in. We're just going to rotate by bringing the left leg forward and the right complete back. This is actually one of my favorite poses to do to increase the flexibility or just to bring more movement into my hips. So again, if you want to go a little bit more advanced, you can grab the back foot and just making sure you're shoulders are relaxed your chest is up high if you have a belt you can even grab a strap and put it around your ankle or if you're more in the beginner stage just bring your toes up so it alleviates the pain in the knee and then having the chest up here just noting how this side of the body feels is it more tight? Is it more flexible? Are you able to go deeper into this pose? Breathe in and breathe out. Relaxing the shoulders again, pulling them back, opening up your heart here. And if you'd like, you can set an intention for your day, for the week. Or perhaps it's simply just to be more open and receptive for what's to come. 
Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Are you able to surrender to your thoughts and into the earth by allowing your body to sink further into the earth? You can close your eyes if you'd like. Good. And hold for five, four, three, two and one good and bring that leg forward and now we're going to go into a frog pose so we're going to bring both legs forward and you're going to take your hands and put them underneath your legs like so so this time um if this is too hard then just come a little bit forward and just have your wrist underneath your legs and then slowly just start to come down you can also build a block some blocks up top so that way you can lean forward so the movement is really to lean forward with the hips here bringing your arms more in through this bind helps with that motion so you may feel the intensity more now just respect where your body is, respect where, where you can not overdo it. <laughs> Sometimes it's really easy to want to copy what I'm doing or what another instructor is doing, but yoga is really about listening to your body. I'm just here to give you suggestions of where and how you can feel the different sensations within your body. I'm definitely feeling it underneath my knee noting that I have not done yoga in a while so these are just reminders that I need to do these poses so that way my body feels more free and more comfortable breathe in and breathe out I've also been doing a fun little challenge with myself. I've been wanting to test out my mental strength with, with my physical strength by holding planks for up to five minutes. Um, in the first week I was doing about two, two and a half minutes. And then I finally broke it by hitting four minutes and then five minutes. And what I noticed is that my thoughts want me to quit and to stop but my body is still actually okay so it's the same sense with yin yoga sometimes you know it's our thoughts that can't control the pain or just want to stop because of the pain but really our body is actually able to ground within the pain and be able to overcome it so if you do feel discomfort try to first breathe into it and to actually tune into your body if it can still keep going breathe 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 just a little bit longer and hold for five four three two one and slowly come on out and bringing your legs forward shaking them out and you're just going to flex your feet here, grabbing your ankles, then to your knees, your ankles and knees. And we have completed our session here today. If you need to do any more final stretches, you can come into one of these poses and move yourself forward and back. And then switching sides. Just accepting where your body feels, any other movement, if you want to do another video. But thank you for practicing with me for this short series of opening our hips. 
Thank you and aloha. Be sure to subscribe and share this video with at least one friend.